If you've ever had sex, you might have chlamydia and not even know it. Why? Because chlamydia is common. It can last in your system for up to two years untreated. And in up to 75% of cases, it has no symptoms. So don't go anywhere because in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about chlamydia, what it is, how to test for it, how to treat it and prevent it. Hi there, I'm Lane, your doctor on demand for fun and factual health education designed to make you feel good about yourself. So what is chlamydia, I hear you ask? Well, luckily I can show you because I have it right here. Chlamydia is a bacteria and although this guy might look kind of cute and fluffy in real life, not so. Chlamydia can cause serious infections in humans and not just anywhere, in your pits. So before I talk about how to get tested and treated, here are five things you need to know about chlamydia. Number one, chlamydia is the most common STI reported in Australia, and it is most common in people under 30 years of age. Number two, chlamydia often presents with no symptoms. In other words, up to 50% of men and 75% of women won't know they have it. Number three, when it does cause symptoms, chlamydia can be nasty. You can get discharge from the penis or vagina, swelling and pain in the testicles, vaginal bleeding, pain during sex, burning when you pee, and rectal chlamydia, it's literally a pain in the ass. Number four, chlamydia can cause infertility. Now, because the majority of women with chlamydia will have no symptoms, they often don't realize they have the infection, but that doesn't mean that the infection is not causing harm. In fact, it can cause scarring to the fallopian tubes, which is what carries the egg from the ovaries to the uterus. So if the scarring's significant, these tubes can effectively become blocked. And number five, you cannot catch chlamydia from toilet seats, swimming pools, or kissing so you'll need to come up with a better excuse than that. Chlamydia is transmitted through secretions from the penis, vagina, or rectum, so it makes sense that it can only really be transmitted one of two ways, either during sex or during childbirth. That's right, newborn babies can get chlamydia if their mother has it. This typically presents as an infection in their eyes. Okay, so let's talk testing and treatment. Well, the good news is chlamydia is very easy to diagnose and very easy to treat. So if you have no symptoms, a urine sample or a self-collected swab from the rectum or vagina is all you need. This can be organized by a GP or through a walk-in testing clinic. Results typically only take a couple of days to come back and if they are positive for chlamydia, the treatment is a piece of piss, pun intended. Two tablets, no sex for one week, voila. That said, prevention is always better than cure. And the easiest way to prevent chlamydia is just by using condoms because they provide a physical barrier preventing fluid transmission during sex. Now, while we're on the topic of sexual health, boys, check out this next video where I will explain everything you need to know about testicular lumps, including testicular cancer, what to look for, how to check, and what to do if you find a lump that you're worried about. Stay healthy, guys, and keep smiling.